Holy moly, are you guys looking at this? What in the name of volume? Do I look like one of those high density girls yet? Hi guys, my name is Michelle and today I am slouching because I have a new chair and if I sit upright then you won't see my head in the frame. Okay, all faffing around the side. Today we're talking about how to style your hair upside down without having that excess frizz and messiness, you know, in the crown area. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Today I'm using the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream as my leave-in conditioner. For my styler, I'm using the Enliven Leave-In Mousse and then I'm going in with the Enliven Blue Gel. This is the first time I'm using the Fix My Curls Leave-In Cream. So I'm starting off with two pumps of the product and emulsifying. I'm raking it through my hair and as I rake, I'm lifting my hair off my roots so that no hair is sticking to my head. Lift the hair from the middle of your head, the sides, the back, the front. Keep doing that. I'm taking another three pumps of the leave-in cream and emulsifying it again. Mixing it in with some water. Emulsifying and raking to apply the product. Again, I'm lifting my hair off my scalp. At this stage, I'm only focusing on applying the product and getting the hair off my scalp because it is very important at this stage. I'm turning to my sides and I'm doing the same. I don't want any hair stuck to my head or my scalp at all because this is what gives you wonky curls. At this step, I'm not focusing on the size of my curl clumps at all. I'm just focusing on directing all of my hair away from my scalp because this step is going to give me some brilliant root volume. Turn in all directions and repeat. Okay, my hair still feels like it doesn't have enough product, so I'm adding another pump of the leave-in cream. This makes it a total of six pumps. I'm using praying hands to apply here and then raking. Again, I'm directing my hair away from my scalp. Make sure you give equal attention to the sides, the front, the middle, the back. Focus on removing all of that hair off your scalp so that nothing is sticking. Now it's finally time to form my curl clumps. And for that I'm going to need a lot of water. At this step, it is crucial that my hair is sopping wet, really go in with that water. Now you can use your preferred brush or comb to form your curl clumps. The tool that you use at this step is going to determine the final output when it comes to your clump size. Again, direct the hair off the scalp. If your hair is not clumping, then it probably needs more water. Okay, so now I'm going in with the leave-in mousse. I'm using a large quantity because look at my length and my hair really needs it. I'm coating my lengths with the mousse. Stylers for me are always make or break, so I'm being very generous with the quantity I'm using. Now, finally, I'm gonna start to scrunch my hair. As you start scrunching, you should hear a loud squishing sound and water should burst out of your hands. If you don't have water gushing out of the palm of your hands, then you probably haven't added enough water.
I'm turning to my sides and I'm giving my hair a bit of a shake to make sure that no clumps are stuck to my head. So shake your head a bit and release the hair from the scalp and then scrunch. Do this on each side, front, middle and the back if possible if you don't get giddy. Scrunch right till the roots. If your main issue is that you don't get curls in the upper lengths of your hair, it's because you're not scrunching right till the root. And you're probably not scrunching in all directions. Or you're not spending enough time scrunching. So make sure you really take your time at this step. Keep scrunching till your hair feels like seaweed. It should feel like paste. It should feel all gloopy and coagulated. Every time you change directions, that means every time you turn to your sides or the front, make sure you give your head a little shake so that you're moving your hair off your scalp and directing it away from your head. Lastly, I'm going in with gel. So spread the gel on the palm of your hand and make sure you touch the lengths of your hair very gently with that gel. Be super duper gentle. You don't want to ruin all of that hard work and the clumps that you've so carefully created. One last time, scrunch. Shake your head the moment you turn to the sides or the front or the back or whatever you're doing and scrunch. Make sure you're giving enough attention to the back, to the front, to the sides, to the middle. Don't forget the middle. Remember that this is where your crown is. If you don't focus on this area, then you're going to have a lot of frizz in your middle crown section. I haven't cut out any of this footage because number one, this is the first time I'm demonstrating this entire process and I want to give you guys a very good idea of how much time I spend on my styling. So keep on scrunching. Keep scrunching till you're 100% satisfied with the curls that you formed. Make sure you really, really encourage them. Then of course, I'm gonna plop for 30 minutes and then I will air dry, you can diffuse. Okay, so I'm back. My hair is completely dry. I didn't air dry today because it is so cold in Calcutta and during winters I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna lose my voice but we'll save the paranoia for another video. Let me SOTC and then let's talk. Keep in mind that a bit of the cast is already broken because I went in with a diffuser. So this video doesn't have diffuser footage but if you want to see how I diffuse my hair, check this video up here. Now, look. This doesn't look pretty, but one of the rules of CGM, I mean, it's like an unspoken rule, is that you never judge the cast, okay? You first SOTC and then you make up your mind about whether you like it or not. All right, let me SOTC and then let's talk. Okay, so I'm back and these are my results. As you can see, there's quite a bit of root volume. There's quite a bit of volume in general. Uh, so yeah, like I said, don't judge the cast. I don't know what's up with my lighting. I'm looking very white today, but oh, I'll figure that out. Okay, so here you go, upside down styling. 
I like it. I like the results. The only thing that I don't like about upside down styling is my hair keeps falling to the front of my face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So some of you might really enjoy upside down styling. Now the way that I do it is I generally shake it out, right? You noticed when I was turning from side to side, I was sort of releasing my hair so that it didn't stick to my scalp. Mm. I shook out the sides so basically when I tilted from side to side I basically shook these parts out so that nothing was sticking to the sides of my head in the same way I released my hair from the back so that nothing was sticking to my crown and that enabled me to get all of this volume now I should talk about what I use today right so for shampoo I use the wow strengthening shampoo for detangling and conditioning I use the just herbs kumuda conditioner because oh my goodness it melts my hair like butter okay I don't think I've experienced such a good conditioner before it is the best conditioner that I have used till date when it comes to detangling I keep that conditioner on my hair for like two three minutes and my tangles they, they just melt like butter so the Kumoda conditioner and the exo curl comb together is a match made in heaven I love it I don't think it gets any better than that when it comes to leave-in, I use the Fix My Curls leave-in conditioner. So this has protein in it. It's the first time I've used this. So I can't tell you what I think about it. So Alicia, you asked me to check this out. So I've ordered the protein leave-in and the moisture leave-in. And I guess I'm going to try both of them. And once I know what I feel about the products, I'll make a review. So that's coming up. For now, I don't know what I feel about it. I did use quite a bit of this and yes my hair does look good but I would prefer to use this at least for a month before I give you my opinion on it or maybe I'll have to wash my hair really frequently because in a month I have four wash days so if you want that review faster I'll probably have to wash my hair twice a week or something so that I try the products quite a bit to give you an opinion and also remember that I'll be trying two leave-ins so I would say I need eight washes at least eight washes so two months to make up my mind maybe I I'll wash my hair like twice a week. I don't want to, but I will if I have to give you that review pretty quick. If you're not in a hurry, then uh, that's good for me. For hair mask, I use the Wow Coconut Hair Mask. So this mask also has a bit of protein in it. But if you look at the protein in the product, six, it is the sixth ingredient. As long as it's not in the top five, you can't really consider this to be like a protein, protein product. But yeah, it does have a bit of protein. I could be wrong. I'll have to do some research before I say anything conclusive about whether this is a moisture or a protein leave-in. So yeah, I deep conditioned with this. For stylers, I use the Enliven leave-in mousse. And then I went in with the Enliven gel in the blue variant. So some of you might not like upright styling and so i thought let me just show you this technique as you can see the frizz is not crazy there's nothing crazy happening over here it's all good apart from this little section that keeps falling down we don't all have to love the same technique which is why i thought i'll make this video hopefully you gained value from it and i was able to clear up some of your doubts when it comes to having frizz when you're upside down styling so let me know if you enjoyed this video if there's anything else that you want to see from this channel let me know and i will give you that content all right guys that was it that was the video thank you so much for watching my name is Michelle and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea to keep fluffing and see what happens. And holy moly, are you guys looking at this? Are you guys checking this out? Just look at this. Maybe because of the background, you can't really see. Look. Okay, so that's upside down styling for you guys. What in the name of volume? Do I look like one of those high density girls yet? No? Well, close enough.